be a long time to register on a waypoint this season, but they got off to the best possible start at Tynecastle when Paul Ritchie latched on to a through ball from Billy Dodds. Ritchie kept his balance, George Wright didn't, and with a clear run in on goal, the Dundee striker beat Nicky Walker. Hart's equaliser came courtesy of a Dundee player. The Kai's cross steered into his own net by American defender Steve Pittman. Hearts had a chance to edge in front before half-time. Mackay creating a chance with a long ball which found John Cahoon. And his shot was going wide even before Paul Mathers deflected it for a corner. Into the second half and Dundee reclaimed the lead in 66 minutes when Gary McEwen threaded a perfect through ball to Peter Jahowski who took his time before finishing albeit with the aid of a deflection off Graham Hogg and the left-hand post. Hearts tried everything in their quest for an equaliser. Gary Locke's shot deflected for a corner. And from Tosh McKinley's kick, Kevin Thomas headed on to the top of the crossbar. Then John Cahoon picked up a loose ball and raced into the box. But as the ball headed for goal, Gary Patterson got in the way and Steve Frail completed the clearance to ensure Dundee left with the points. We've given now one more game, I think, than three or four clubs above us. It's just that, you know, uh, we're not picking up enough draws away from home. You know, a few times we get beat 1-0 and, uh, you know, we've just got to tighten up that a little bit. Um, just make sure we don't get red and silly away. And I'm very confident that the players here, don't, you know, will start producing the goods uh, on a more regular basis and we'll start climbing the table.